Are you wondering what the earnest money deposit is? Stay tuned, we are going to cover that today. Hi, I'm Amanda Vane with Keller Williams. If this is your first time here and would like to learn all things real estate, make sure to subscribe below and hit the bell notification button so you can stay up to date. Today, we are going to talk about the earnest money deposit. When a buyer makes an offer on a house and the seller accepts the offer, the buyer is required to put a good faith deposit, also known as earnest money deposit, in escrow within three business days. The earnest money deposit is commonly 3% of the purchase price. If you are buying a house for a million dollars, the earnest money is 3% of that, so it's $30,000 that you need to deposit in escrow. You can either wire or write a check. You may wonder, why do I need to put in the earnest money deposit? It's because the seller is taking their house off the market. In return, you are showing good faith that you are truly interested in purchasing the house. You are now thinking, will I get my earnest money deposit back if I don't want to purchase the house anymore? Well, before we answer that question, let's go over a few things. As a buyer, you have three contingencies that protect you. And those are home inspection, loan, and appraisal contingency. Before making an offer, your agent will go over if you want to have the contingencies in place or waive them. Home inspection contingency. This is where you hire a home inspection company to inspect the condition of the house. Loan contingency. This is if the lender will give you a loan. Appraisal contingency. This is if the property appraised at a value or higher. For simplicity, let's say you decide to keep all contingencies in place. Example one, let's say that you hire a home inspector and the report comes back with a few things that are deal breakers. You can back out of the contract, not purchase the house, and receive your earnest money deposit back because you have a contingency in place. Example two, you couldn't get a loan because you lost your job. You are not obligated to purchase the home so you can get your earnest money deposit back. Example three, the house appraised lower than what you've offered. Let's say you offer a million dollars on a house and the appraisal came back at $900,000. You can cancel the contract and get your earnest money deposit back. Let's say you removed all your contingencies and decided you don't want to purchase the house anymore or you saw a house on the market and you want the house instead you will lose your earnest money deposit. The seller has the right to keep your earnest money deposit because you breached the contract. I will never let my buyers be in a situation where they will lose their earnest money deposit. I ask a lot of questions and make sure it is the home that they truly want. This is why having a good agent on your side is very important. Now, you might be wondering what happens to the earnest money after I remove all the contingencies. Your earnest money deposit goes towards your closing costs. So you will only need to bring the difference to the closing table. Now you know what earnest money is. If this is your first time buying a house, watch Buying a House in the Bay Area. We go over the entire process from start to finish. If you are not buying in the Bay Area, still watch it because a lot of things I go over can apply to your market. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.